how big is this? this I think is this is almost the size like ours. I think, I think so, this is yeah. four by four, something yeah. like that. And the platforms too. I think this is a five by five platform like we are doing it. Yeah. This is great, huh? special mission we're gonna be scouting we're gonna go to another place that are working with similar tents and a similar philosophy um, compared to what what we aim to do at custodia and we're gonna check how they are doing it all right Ready to rumble they say eco Look at that! <laughs> so we can eine kleine Tomate für Mara klauen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machen wir mal, ne? Die ist schön, huh? Die ist schön, ne? Yeah. Look, they are doing these little, little huts for sitting as well. And here too. Super nice. Super nice. You can chill there. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Look, this is what we found on their Instagram account. They're having these tents, and they're putting uh, a roof on top of it. It's called a lange lang. It's some uh, like grass, which makes the tents better protected against the strong elements that are even stronger up here so that the tents have a longer lifespan and I think it looks quite cool. Look at that. So we're gonna check that out. Instagram. Real life. Probably this option wasn't the best one. Or the mm. roof flew away. <laughs> we, ah, don't, we don't one know. Of both, one of both. <laughs> hmm. Ah, but look. The next one, ah, they have. One. They have one. I was thinking it through like the last days, and when you have enough space between the tent and the lang lang, yeah, there's nothing that comes to my mind that couldn't, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, because it's yeah. definitely better protected yeah. when you have it ventilated inside as well enough and clean it often enough. Yeah, like it shouldn't weld, uh, weld, <laughs> mold, <laughs> mold. Yeah, mold. Uh, mold. Yeah. Hold it on, huh? Yeah, look. Yeah, but th this is a complete bamboo structure. Yeah. Ah, look, they have. And the yeah, tent yeah, yeah. Is fixed in ah, the okay, wow. It's like a, it's it's like a house. It is. It's like a house without walls, and instead, a tent. Yeah. That's interesting, huh? That's a full bamboo structure. Yeah, that's a full. That's a proper roof. But for me, if I would do something like that, I wouldn't put a tent underneath. No. I would put it like. Yeah. I don't know. This feels like a proper house. Yeah. I would yeah. yeah. The definitely. tent has this fe has this feeling of like, okay, let's start quick, simple, and easy. But if right. you're putting in the effort, the effort to do yeah. something like that, I would do a house instead. Yeah. I think. Oh, but here, look, we can learn how to do a how to do a bamboo ah. bathroom. This will be our own project without ah. the architect. Ah. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> how I do you? You were asking how do we, how do they do the door, right? How do they do the like door? The what is that in English? I don't know how the door is moving. No. Ah, okay. This is um, completely stone. 
there's just, ah, it's a just bamboo for just the decoration. decoration. Okay. But like it wouldn't you you could definitely use it as walls. I think like so too. You could definitely ah, fully stone. Uh-huh. I like the door. Mm -hmm. The door is pretty what cool. What is Ah cool, look! Yeah yeah yeah. It's That's cool. That. That's super That's cool. cool. So that you don't need to Yeah, but you can't <laughs> lock can't close it. It's not working? No. Because it's like st it's stuck st you know? <laughs> <laughs> No way. Somebody or is it like? Job, huh? And this is a massive handle. Like this will last That's for it. for decades. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the, the door handle will outlive the whole building. Yeah, defi <laughs> it will definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, this is how I, uh, what Ali said. The most mm -hmm. I know the Carl did say that yeah. the, the most simple way to to do a roof out of bamboo is to put them like uh -huh. this this shape into the top. And there's the Alang Alang. Yeah. But the Alang Alang is already quite quite old, huh? Yeah, it is. It's already grey. But it's crazy, it's just grass and it fully protects from the from the rain. It's crazy, I love that. And it looks nice. Oh yeah, here you can see how it looks from, from below because they did cover it. Usually you don't see it from below because the, there's a, like a bamboo uh, cover. But it's nice, huh? It's just like wow. If it wouldn't be easier and nicer, yeah, to make. I know what you mean. Make a big like, like a changing like a small room, small spiral, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Where you could walk in. Yeah, yeah. And it's li or yeah, li like this. This is already yeah. protected. I think that's enough. You, you don't need more yeah. than that, and you can. Yeah. Uh, because this is a place that's optimized for strangers like it makes sense to be able to lock your door but yeah we are not optimizing for like random people so Absolutely. i think it's not necessary to oh and it. you could even like you know like maybe a bit when you would put this a bit more left like you would have this proper entrance yeah yeah yeah, yeah. something like that in the green village yeah they have this like be super big four or five bedroom uh, bamboo villas and we stayed in one and they really did a spiral for the toilet indoors it was super cool it was the living room and inside the living room there was just a bamboo spiral with the door inside mm -hmm. uh, with the with the toilet inside mm -hmm. without a door mm -hmm. just like it was a little bit like a um how would you call that like the it looked like the house of a snail it was like it was a spiral mm -hmm. and then it went like this you know what I mean? Oh yeah, and that's it was, it was it was in the inside the bigger living room that's with the, way like more five five meters of that's even ceiling. way more cooler. Yeah, it, lo it looked awesome. it looked really artsy, really nice, like this. Ah, uh, now I now I can imagine. Yeah, now I can imagine. That yeah, cool. for this we need a proper bamboo architect. Yeah, I sure. platform at the, at the river for movement, for meditation, which of course is, it's very, very cozy. This is almost the size like ours. I think, I think so. this is four by four, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Our yeah. tents will be similar. It's it's quite substantial, huh? Mm -hmm. And the platforms too. Mm -hmm. I think this is a five by five platform, like we are doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be, could be. This is big, huh? Mm -hmm. that's, this is big. that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. And they have a super um, nice view. All these glamping sites, they never use a tent that can be opened on both sides. I was wondering why. Because for me, it just makes sense to have a back opening too. Because right now, the sun is shining. It's it's very hot, and yeah. inside the tent, it's super hot. Of course, here they they don't have this problem so much because it's it's less sunny. But it just makes sense to have a opening in the back so that the wind can flow flow through, even for the uh, as a protection against mold. Yeah, yeah, it makes it so is, much it sense. Is. And they're doing even like the lighting with bamboo poles. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Can be 
what would be really cool like to have like this kind of you know for galungan like mm -hmm. they have like these these, yeah, these letters these, yeah yeah these big ones they yeah. have this kind of shape and then and for lights. the lamp yeah i like that yeah it could be I cool like that. Could, it, could it looks very like festive like we yeah. like yeah i like that yeah yeah uh, that that would be cool and on the other side like i think it could be cool like to just have like this minimalistic mm -hmm. lights just on the floor mm -hmm. so you don't have any structures and you mm -hmm. don't see anything mm -hmm. need less cables yeah lighting is a is a topic like yeah mm. do you feel qualified to come up with something yeah. like a design regarding the lighting so. yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'm like like I think right now I would do it like um, really simplistic, mm -hmm. um, like um, don't have any structures because like I, f I think this makes the place to something that feels like way more developed than it is. Yeah. Like if you have like, yeah, like lanterns, like yeah, yeah. lanterns. Yeah. I would something do like like, like these these you know like these these round small mm -hmm. Spot chilled on the, on the warm light mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe in some kind of bamboo mm -hmm. fit the housing, mm -hmm. something like that, and mm -hmm. just like every five meters. But of course, like this is a thing as well because, like, as I I heard, I'm, I don't know at all, but I heard that it's not that nice for the insects to have lighting. But at the place where we stayed before, where they have tents too, they left the light on like the whole night, yeah. which because of the tents not having like a thick like yeah. a wall, yeah, uh, you saw that, and it yeah. was not super dark, so. Yeah. It would be very important for a good sleep to be able to shut that down and at the same time somebody needing to go to the toilet at night not yeah. falling down and breaking yeah. their neck yeah yeah That's what, what what about doing a like a how is it how do you call it like a movement sensor where you're like if nobody's moving yeah. it's 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 turned off and then yeah. if somebody leaves their tent like just the area where they are walking gets turned on and then five yeah. minutes later turned off again you could do that. Wow. Mm. That's nice. Oh, friends, that was a beautiful, beautiful lunch. And for the past two hours, we we're talking about the future of Custodia. And I'm very, very sad that we didn't record anything of that. Yeah, so many, so many times in my life, I, I always said to myself, oh, this was epic content. Where was the filmmaker? Where was the filmmaker lurking behind the the pillow? Oh, not there. Sadly, we didn't capture any of that, but we were talking about how to make Custodia to what it can be. How to build a hub of custodianship. How to build a Florence of the 21st century. Yeah. And the incubator setting that we are currently starting with in December and in January. Inviting people, making epic stuff here together deepen our deepen our capabilities to serve and to put ourselves out there into the world be the change that we wish to see in the world this is just the beginning in the future there will be many more containers dedicated to the same energy but in a different way we're currently planning that <laughs> so exciting and finally like compared to everything I did in the future, finally I have the, I have the, like, I have the chance to design every part of the experience, like how how I see, f like, really in the most aligned way. Every time in the past I did retreats and coaching programs and workshops and conferences and like whatnot, and I was always limited to the place, to the location, because this was already there. This was already like set in stone. I could not. I could not change that, I could not mold that too into the best possible version for the experience I'm trying to design. But now I can. And this is incredibly nice. It's the blank sheet of paper <laughs> that we will fill with a lot of life over the upcoming months and years. And maybe even decades. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we're gonna beam ourselves from the foggy munduk to a very special place where something important happened today back home on the land where today the first house was almost finished i'll show you more tomorrow
see you then. <laughs>